Okay, so through streaming, I'm recording. I'm I'm just going to be recording this from now on. I don't know what's wrong with my with my uh stuff right now. Um, okay, wait. Local special piece. Oh! Right, we got the... Oh, that's right! Wind Alster! The... the... the wheel... <laughs> The wind wheel, I mean. <laughs> this is so weird. It just, uh, I completely forgot about this. But let me just. Right, there we go. All right. Then the next one is we already got the dandelion. So um <sighs> Right, the small lamp. Uh I think we can find that some here just at the entrance of Bulbin Dome. Um... Oh, there we go. Just right here. Okay, so uh, let's go. Let's go back to Inazuma. Are there are there a lot of people streaming? Well, there are always a lot of people streaming at Twitch. Wow, wow. This is the first time I saw a shrine meet in with. Welcome home, Almighty Shogun. Wait, is it Kitsune ears? Her ears look different. Is she a Kitsune? It looks a bit different from uh, Yai Miko's ears. Have them right here. Hmm. So, my friend, cast your glance upon the sakura once more. It is the first sip of a sweet sake savor. It's eternal tenderness that renders you in a. So, my friend, cast your glance upon the sakura once more. Ballad on your lips. Hang it high amidst this the first ride in search of the wind on an unknown path a journey unfolds. There's a freshly picked like a throbbing leaf now. On an unknown path a journey unfolds. 
Oh, my friend, that's a crow. It's a newly written ballad on your... This... Hmm, did this actually work? This the first bit, Seaver. This one could work. Hmm. This line says that the one may leave in his mother thinks one has seen here will remain in one's heart forever. A Thomas poem has really broken through the usual the usual form of the Inazuma poem, yet it also uses its ancient style to depict all manner of unforgettable human experiences. Perhaps he means to say that although Monsat and Inazuma may seem greatly different, they do share some common aesthetics, just as how the two of us, despite being from different nations, were able to bond as poets. Ah, to think that you were able to grasp the feelings behind this verse so quickly, despite being so young. I didn't believe in the idea of making friends of disparate ages from yourself before, but now I know that it is true, what a joyful truth it is. And you too learned, young man, that we three should have met here. There must be some destiny at play. Indeed, the trip to Inazuma was a pretty bumpy one, but none of that matters now. Even when I return to Monsat, I will remember everything I've seen here in Inazuma. It is also thanks to the pictures you brought. I hope that someday we three shall meet once again. Oh, you'll definitely be seeing me around, Otomo. We will. In any cases, that's done. Oh, wait, just a minute. We're done here. Pictures tickets, small lamp grass, dandelion seat, Cecilia Wynn Alster. Oh, they did, they written it. Anyways. You must complete what the blue flower is left. Okay. <laughs> the Hatter Mechanicus again. <laughs> okay, what is this? Iridori anecdotes. This one first. Oh, wait. Okay, so we're gonna go and meet with Albedo this time. Something concerning about the week. <laughs> what a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. What's up? <laughs> well, can't I come and see you when nothing is up? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is up with Albedo, you know? Ever since... I suppose ever since the Susbedo event, he's been like this. Teasing us. <laughs> All right, as much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. <laughs> Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. But you know Klee very well. She's very energetic. There's no way she's going to stay in one place for too long. She hasn't complained. But 
I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... We're going to be on babysitting duty. Yay! Mr. Honorary Knight's here! <laughs> what you talking about, Mr. Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Glee, are you saying you'd like to go to go and play? Yeah! Um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Oh, They worry about each other. It's so cute. Kid. And like Paimon. <laughs> uh, Paimon's very thoughtful, thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. Well, that settles it. They're very thoughtful. Okay, fine. Paimon, you are very thoughtful. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Anyway, it is pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. We'll look after Klee. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Let's introduce her to someone interesting. Klee, do you want to go play with Mr. Honorary Knight? Yes, you bet I do. As you know, Klee is our spark knight. You must keep her safe and sound. Uh, quite on the contrary, I'm much more worried about the the bad guys who would, uh, you know. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh, try to keep her out of trouble. <laughs> right. <laughs> For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there <laughs> were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. <laughs> Got it. No explosions. <laughs> that is so Klee-like. No, that's not just exactly like it is Klee exactly. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. I just hope we don't run into Yoimiya. <laughs> Great. I look forward to it. Loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Cleve? Cuisine? What's that? It's food. You know, food and drink. Lyman just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Got it! Alright, snack time it is! Let's go! Oh, right. Thank you for taking care of Cleve. I heard lighting fires is strictly prohibited in both Rito and Inazuma during the Irodori festival. Please keep a close watch on her. Well... Please already run off. You'd better catch up with her. <laughs> but if, if lighting fire is not allowed, then I suppose Yoimiya won't have her... Oh. That's the language of Inazuma. Anyways, where can we go? Oh, right. We can go to the tea house. <laughs> or not. Smells so good. I think it's coming from the steaming thingy. It's food. Mr. Honorary Knight, look at this noodley soup. It's so pretty. There's so many nice things inside. It's not noodley soup. It's tonkotsu ramen, actually. Oh. So, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. She's she's not from here, Iwao. I'm sorry. Mm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? 
Wow, tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. <laughs> they sure are. Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Yeah, that's Let right. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. Oh, don't worry, kid. We're here. We can buy it for free. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. Don't take it more. I'll cook them myself. The uh, don't take it more is kind of a very hurting. Uh, I'll cook them myself. Oh, I remember you. You're your Mia's friend. Oh. How come you know how to make egg rolls? <laughs> it, it's survival in the wild. Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this guy. Why don't you make some for Kree and Iwo? Sure, and I'll throw in some for you, too. Uh, really? <laughs> wow, Kevin is so touched! You're learning! <laughs> Alright, we'll be waiting on those egg rolls! Come and try some! Oh. Egg rolls. Egg rolls. Ah, oh, no. Please don't tell me I don't have... Wait. Where is it? No, this is not it. Ah, here it is. No, no. It's gotta be us. Let's make four at least so that we can also eat. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Egg rolls taste like? There we go. Taste it for yourself. Wow! You really can cook them! You're awesome, mister! Mmm, it's sweet! So yummy! Yep, yep! It's delicious! Traveler, you are the best! <laughs> oh! Yeah, these egg rolls are pretty good, but I still think you and Mia's are better. No, I don't want to go seek her out with, while Klee, while I'm with Klee. Hmm? Who is you and Mia? She makes egg rolls too? She's a superhero. <laughs> she runs the fireworks shop. You and Mia can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Oh uh, no, you I have a very bad feeling about this. You pretty much the best, most awesome person ever. For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Klee knows loads of other great people too. Like Mr. Albedo, Mr. Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh, surely she's <laughs> not going to name everyone she knows. She probably will. Oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still <laughs> want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. Oh, no. <laughs> In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. Oh, she's probably bad for making fireworks. <laughs> She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently, but maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Okay, let's go play with you and Mia. Special yakitori for sale. Come and try some. <laughs> 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 
that's probably the reason why she's not feel she's not in a great mood. Probably because she was forbidden from. Oh, wait a minute. By the way, are we supposed to go meet the? Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Me, uh, don't be sad. Um, I. Uh... Oh, I know. Let me tell you something that'll cheer you up. Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. <laughs> He's definitely talking about Ito. Wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. No, it is. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do. Uh, that is. So it really is the reason why she's so down. I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. But you're very down. Yoimiya, it's me! I want to introduce you to a new friend, an Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee. My name is Klee. They're both wearing red. Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yui Mia, and I run Naginahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello. I love the cute outfit with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique. And your backpack. Wow, it's really well made. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. Oh, you could tell it's a fairy? <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, uh, no. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go off on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. Yep. My mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And you and Mia, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Inaz I have a feeling that Inazuma is going to have a field day. Uh, it's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Yeah, well, that is true. Hey, Klee. <laughs> Since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? But you're not supposed to be allowed to set up fireworks. Yeah! And after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko! <laughs> uh, no! Uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way! Albedo was pretty clear about that! No explosions allowed. Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. Uh, don't worry. Maybe, maybe we could set up fireworks uh before they leave. The the Iridori Festival should be over by then. What? It's not allowed. But, aww. <sighs> okay then. Disaster averted. But uh, too bad for this too. Hey, come on! You just need a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Mm, don't be sad. Yeah! We still have loads of things we can do! Let's go check out the Iridori Festival. Right! Just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do! What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast! <laughs> okay then, let's go! I still think we should change it. This part is a bit boring. 
Okay, where are we going back to? <laughs> that was very quick. All I see are books, though. Outlander Brigade. When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Hmm. By Kawabonga Iki. Yoniha, this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabonga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Cow. Cowabunga. Cowabunga is very so far from Kayabuki. <laughs> Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine, and When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Oh. Um, Outlander's Brigade? Um... Is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels. There is no need to, to turn a poor girl down like that, though. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Yeah. Um, we might keep looking around. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely not suitable for kids. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! <laughs> that's what you get for trying. <laughs> Oh, wait. Flowers for Princess Fischl. Oh, look! It's Fischl's story! <laughs> That's right! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Clee? Mm, probably not, but we do have someone who goes... Who goes around naming herself Fischl? <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Dodoko are always together. Hmm. I wonder if Dodoko is getting bored now. Oh, Clea, <laughs> I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Ah, oh, that's right. This was all... This was all Miko's idea. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up! I see something over there that's interesting. Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like... Um, I... Like painting. Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? Iridori Festival is the perfect location for storytelling. That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You could show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Think of it like Dodoko playing with everybody. Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Wait, are we going to painting or... Maybe I should have picked writing. Mm, Mr. Alvedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. Oh. That's, That's very imaginative. Created. I 
think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story mm -hmm. on display at the festival. <laughs> Yay! Great! Donoko will be so happy! Perfect! Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Let's go! Those two can run so fast when they're motivated. We better catch up. Uh, yep, yep. Let's go and catch up. Okay. I just had a discussion, and we've decided we're gonna keep the content of the story a secret from you guys for now. Why? <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Come on, Yoimiya, we should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. Okay, I hope you two stay out of trouble then while we're away. Oh, Paimon was hoping that we could all paint together! <laughs> so unfair! Why didn't you join the Paimon? Oh, I suppose you were part of the secret. Out, uh, part of the keep out of the secret. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. Oh. <laughs> You're such a... You're such a B.I. Paimon. So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm... Dodoko goes to eat tri-flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, you and Mia. I have some more. Look! Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. Don't worry, we're here. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the traveler for ideas. <laughs> Mr. Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble him. Uh, don't worry, Klee. So, I think I should just go fish blasting. <gasps> Some more. Oh uh, no. <laughs> mm. No. No fish blasting. Yes, I yes. Someone on the traveler said so. Oh. Then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. <laughs> Why don't you trouble me? Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching Sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Wow, I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. 
Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh. Mm -hmm. I seem to be having fun very much. Shoot! Paimon didn't hear the last part. Be quiet, Paimon. They could hear us. Dunko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the eye publishing house. <laughs> the eye publishing house. I hope we don't we don't encounter Miko because uh there's still the trouble with her her one editor who suddenly went Mia. Just something to get into the festival. Here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. Oh. <laughs> Auntie? Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Kelx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! <laughs> huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. <laughs> Next thing Dodoko say, Dene, clean your Mia switch to Aratani. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no. Problems with printing? The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Okay, even if it's, uh... If it's not, uh, for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler? We'll think of something. Well, find a way. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not <laughs> as simple as that. Is it because of that trouble? We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival. And a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. And the printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. I suppose At a it time is. like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. Uh. I, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Clee to feel the same way. That is... That if we is. can't get it printed... Then we'll just have to find our own way. We can go and ask. Well, I certainly don't want to go to Miko, but uh, we could go and try her. I can paint with her. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Your Mia has quite a determined spirit. <laughs> I like it very much. So I guess we don't really have to go and look for her. We heard everything. Oh, Lady Yai! It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. 
But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? <coughs> Why do I... I suddenly feel shivers down my spine. Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. Um... All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady huh. Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Shrink it to yep, half the size. I am! <laughs> Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl. Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. So it's like a uh, an extra. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. Hmm? She certainly is quite a bit. <laughs> All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now we just need to wait for an update from the Eye Publishing House. You are Mia, traveler. Thank you for keeping Cleese so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. You should spend some time with Klee too, Albedo. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Wait for the printing to finish next day. Alright, what time was that again? 14. Let me just uh, finish this one. And then I'll call it a night. Where do we go? from us. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Todoko and me. And me. And you guys. You put me and Paimon in the story? 
All dodokos must someday ride the wind and the waves and go on an adventure. A gentle and beautiful mother once said that, and just as she had predicted, our dodoko was so happy when his best friend Klee said that she was going to the Nation of Lightning for an adventure. Of course, dodoko loves eating delicious food with Klee at Good Hunter and loves listening to the bard sing, but dodoko loves counting the stars in the sky and twisting flowers into garlands together with Klee more. After all, all dodokos long to ride the wind and waves on an adventure. To get to Inazuma, one needs to pass through the wind. Oh, there is a picture. It's, it's very nice. Is there any more? Oh. That's what you're interested in. Of course we included Paimon. This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Co. This story is Mia Nurimiya's gift for Mr. Honorary Knight. Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? It's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <laughs> Wait, the Tevat Travel Guide? If I remember correctly, isn't the author of the Tevat Travel Guide... Uh, Klee's mom? Alice? <gasps> hey! That's Mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. <laughs> Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat travel guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it, a joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. But how did... How did... How did Miko know that... Klee is Alice's mom? Uh, Paimon knew it! Miko would never do anything for free! <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yep, I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book. It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together. Oh, I'm so glad I came. The Iridori Festival is the best! Uh, I'm glad you're happy, Queen. Oh, and we got it. Where is it? Ah, the the front cover is so cute too. Ah, uh, and any pieces. I suppose that. That's over too. A legend of the sword is about to arrive in Izuma. Should you can feel the previous loss of the books from him? Mm, I don't think we can keep a we can hide a secret from Shinkyu. Shinkyu is just as smart as as Albedo and can surmise it. I don't think we can hide it from him for long. Okay, in any cases, that'll be it for today. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Before we end this, uh... 
<clears throat> Let me go and search for No. Uh where was she supposed to be? I I remember I saw her. It's supposed to be around here, right? Uh, I think her name was Asari. The one who asked us to paint, to take pictures for, for inspirational. Alright, here she is. Asagiri. No, oh, she really has nothing to say to us anymore. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, thanks, guys.